Hi, everybody. Welcome to the latest edition of Nets Post Game Plus. Nancy Newman here alongside Frank Isola. The Nets Big Three played their first game together Wednesday in Cleveland. The final score, though, it was a wild one in double overtime. Cavs win 147-135. And those Big Three were on the court together the final 18 minutes and 45 seconds. Kevin Durant had a chance at the end of the first overtime. James Harden and Kyrie Irving both had a chance in regulation. They all look great at certain moments. Disappointing result, but let's give Colin Sexton a lot of credit here. 15 points in the second overtime. That is an unbelievable performance for five minutes from a young player. Yeah, it was just one of those nights. Yeah. A perimeter bucket by Jeff Green with less than 30 seconds to go in the first overtime gave the Nets a three-point lead that they were able to reclaim twice after Cleveland cut its deficit to one. But that tray by Sexton with 1.4 seconds forced double OT where he took over the game. Afterwards, coach Steve Nash tipped his cap to Sexton when he was talking about how things went in the final minutes of action. They had a guy get hot at the right time. He sent it to the second overtime, and he was hot in, in that overtime. So, you know, uh, we we were a little flat, a little disjointed to start the game, got down, found our way back in it, pushed it to overtime, you know, up three after the first over at the end of the first overtime and gave up a three and uh Looks like uh, the legs fell off a little bit, but also he, he got hot at the right time. So uh, hats off to him. It's the first game, the big three and the, and the this new group, group, new look Nets. When you're talking to the guys in the locker room and you're assessing this and with the group, are you focusing more on the on on the the negatives, if you will, or the areas to clean it up? Or, or are you bringing up the, you know, the positives and things that you want to build on? A bit of both. I mean, mostly the positive, though. We Look, this is... First night uh, that we've had everyone on the floor together. Um, you know, we seemed a little lost at times, which is natural because we haven't played together. Um, so there's a little indecision. We started the game turning the ball over. I think we had seven or eight in the first quarter. Um, you know, we cleaned it up, got ourselves back in the game. But obviously, you know, we, we have to defend better. Um, but I stay positive. You know, these guys, it's the first night out together. We just getting a feel for each other. And this is going to be a process that's going to take the entire year. So while we're all disappointed, um, you know, we got lots to, to build on, lots to grow, and lots more opportunities. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, you mentioned that trio of, of James, Kevin, and Kyrie. It seemed like they were on the court together a, a while t towards the end of that game. I guess how much did you think fatigue factored in, especially in the, in the second overtime? Yeah, I think the second overtime, you know, there was fatigue. Um, but – you know, when a guy gets gets hot like that, unbelievably hot, uh, you know, there's not a lot you can do. So a um, bit of everything, you know, if you ask me. And unfortunately, we didn't close it after the first overtime. Brooklyn and Cleveland will have a rematch on Friday. Coverage begins on Yes at 7 o'clock with the pregame show presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. For Frank Isola, I'm Nancy Newman. Thanks for watching Nets Postgame Plus.